the U.S. cannot crush us, says Huawei founder. The founder of Huawei has said there is no way the U.S. can crush the company, in an exclusive interview with the BBC. Ren Zhengfei described the arrest of his daughter Meng Wanzhou, the company's chief financial officer, as politically motivated. The U.S. is pursuing criminal charges against Huawei and Dems Meng, including money laundering, bank fraud and stealing trade secrets. Huawei denies any wrongdoing. In his first international broadcast interview since Ms. Meng was arrested, Mr. Ren dismissed the pressure from the U.S. There's no way the U.S. can crush us, he said. The world cannot leave us because we are more advanced. Even if they persuade more countries not to use us temporarily, we can always scale things down a bit. However, he acknowledged that the potential loss of custom could have a significant impact. Even if they persuade more countries not to use us temporarily, we can always downsize and become smaller, he added. Should we worry about Huawei? Who is Ren Zhengfei? Why Huawei matters in five charts? What is 5G? Who is Meng Wanzhou? What else did Mr. Ren say about the U.S.? Last week, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo warned the country's allies against using Huawei technology, saying it would make it more difficult for Washington to partner alongside them. Australia, New Zealand, and the U.S. have already banned or blocked Huawei from supplying equipment for their future 5G mobile broadband networks, while Canada is reviewing whether the company's products present a serious security threat. Mr. Wren warned that the world cannot leave us because we are more advanced. If the lights go out in the West, the East will still shine. And if the North goes dark, there is still the South. America doesn't represent the world. America only represents a portion of the world. What did Mr. Wren say about investment in the UK? The UK's National Cyber Security Centre has decided that any risk posed by using Huawei technology in UK telecoms projects can be managed. Many of UK's mobile companies, including Vodafone, EN3, are working with Huawei to develop their 5G networks. They are awaiting on a government review, due in March or April, that will decide whether they can use Huawei technology. Commenting on the possibility of a UK ban, Mr. Wren said Huawei won't withdraw our investment because of this. We will continue to invest in the UK. We still trust in the UK, and we hope that the UK will trust us even more. We will invest even more in the UK. Because if the US doesn't trust us, then we will shift our investment from the US to the UK on an even bigger scale. What does Mr. Wren think about his daughter's arrest? Mr. Wren's daughter Meng Wanzhou, Huawei's chief financial officer, was arrested on 1 December in Vancouver at the request of the U.S., and is expected to be subject of a formal extradition request. In total, 23 charges are leveled against Huawei and Dems Wang. The charges are split across two indictments by the U.S. Department of Justice. The first covers claims Huawei hid business links to Iran, a country subject to U.S. trade sanctions while the second includes the charge of attempted theft of trade secrets. Mr. Wren was clear in his opposition to the U.S. accusations. Firstly, I object to what the U.S. has done. This kind of politically motivated act is not acceptable. The U.S. likes to sanction others, whenever there's an issue, they'll use such combative methods. We object to this. But now that we've gone down this path, we'll let the courts settle it. What did Mr. Ren say about Chinese government spying? Huawei, which is China's largest private company, has been under scrutiny for its links to the Chinese government, with the US and others expressing concern its technology could be used by China's security services to spy. Under Chinese law, firms are compelled to support, cooperate with and collaborate in national intelligence work. But Mr. Ren said that allowing spying is a risk he wouldn't take. The Chinese government has already clearly said that it won't install any backdoors. And we won't install backdoors either. We're not going to risk the disgust of our country and of our customers all over the world, because of something like this. 
our company will never undertake any spying activities. If we have any such actions, then I'll shut the company down. Is Huai part of the Chinese state? Analysis, Karishma Vaswami, BBC Asia Business Correspondent For a man known as reclusive and secretive, Ren Zhengfei seemed confident, almost cocky in the conviction that the business he's built for the last 30 years can withstand the scrutiny from Western governments. Mr. Ren is right, the US makes up only a fraction of his overall business. But where I saw that confidence slip, was when I asked him about his links to the Chinese military and the government. He refused to be drawn into a conversation, only to saying that these were not facts, simply allegations. Still, some signs of close links between Mr. Ren and the government were revealed during the course of our interview. He confirmed to me that his daughter Meng Wanzhou was carrying a passport usually issued to China's government employees when she was arrested in Canada. But he explained that this was an old expired passport of Meng's and not because his family curried special favor with the government. He also confirmed that there is a Communist Party committee in Huai, but he said this is what all companies, foreign or domestic, operating in China must have in order to abide by the law by the law.